As Ouija mentioned, those lucky enough to get out are being flown more than 2,000 miles from Kabul to Doha on the Persian Gulf. But the processing facility there was so overwhelmed, incoming flights were put on hold today. Roxana Saberi is there. Video obtained by CBS News shows hundreds of evacuees waiting in a hangar at Al Udaid Air Base in Doha. Several of them describe conditions as hot, crowded and dirty. With thousands of at-risk Afghans and American citizens flooding in so fast, the U.S. is searching for other countries to send people for screening. Evacuees here tell us they're grateful for getting this far. They left behind families at Kabul airport so worried about the future, some of them are handing their children to U.S. troops. With crowds continuing to surge and Doha's airbase at capacity, the U.S. military was forced to suspend evacuation flights today for several hours. I'm getting to the airport. That's when Omid Mahmoudi, a former U.S. military interpreter, tried to get in, filming his third attempt. U.S. troops turned him back, he told us, but he'll keep trying because now the Taliban are back in power, he's in more danger than ever. Are you afraid of being left behind? So I have already left behind. I kind of stay here. Look at the situation. Look this at former the British the Army world. interpreter had more luck. After waiting hours, British troops let him, his wife, and two-week-old baby through. The U.S. is sending additional border agents here to Doha to speed up the screening process. In the meantime, the State Department says several countries have already agreed to transit evacuees from Afghanistan through their territories to safety. Jim? Roxana, thank you.